for my project, I want to create this film that is made with two different materials. And the goal is to have this region of the film be of uniform thickness, but there will, there will be this composition gradient or ratio between the two materials as you go down the film. So because it's important that the thickness is relatively uniform, uh, we use this machine here called the profilometer. And basically what it does is that it can measure the thickness of things. It's just seeing the profile in this direction because we already measured in the other one. So this stage, it can be both moved uh, the x and y directions or it can also be rotated. So before I take any measurements, I have to first adjust the stage so that it will be measuring in the right direction. All the measurements are done on this software here. And pretty much all you have to do is move the stage around so that the needle is in the, gener the right general position. And then you just have to set like the start and end points, which will be before and after the scratches that I made. We have two different materials. One is GSS, or is uh, germanium, antimony, and then sulfur. And the other is GSSE is his germanium, antimony, and then selenium. And they're both known as chalcogenides. And they're known for their nonlinear optical properties. And diff the GSS and GSSE both have different advantages and disadvantages. And we're hoping that by merging the two together in a film, we can sort of optimize uh, both their advantages and disadvantages so that they would be complementary with each other. So originally, uh, when we were making the film, there wasn't really this gradient along with a uniform thickness. But so we had to engineer a little bit and we had to form additional obstacles so that we could sort of form this gradient that also has this overlap between the two materials. We call it a line of sight model, which is basically when it evaporates, it'll go out sort of like uh, outwards this way and then we want to create like some sort of overlap between them so like this region here so we want that region to be of uniform thickness it's been really interesting to learn about this material and about optics in general uh, i don't have much of a background in optics so it was really interesting just to learn about all the relevance it has in material science.